Hi everyone, I'm Alexandra from Advanced Installer and in today's video I will show you how to use a USB token with an extended validation certificate in Advanced Installer. Starting with 18.6 version, you have the option to select a CR file that will contain only the public key of the digital certificate and the private key getting stored in the USB token. So using this EV certificate is a great way of enhancing your reputation and assuring people that your software is safe. Before starting, we have to make sure we have installed a dedicated driver for communication with the USB token. Here we are using the SafeNet authentication client. After we connect the eToken to a USB port, we first need to export the public key from the USB token and save it on our machine. Now that we have exported the certificate's public key, we open Advanced Installer and go to the Digital Signature view. Check the Enable Signing option and select the CR file from the disk that was previously exported. If you have multiple certificates installed, don't worry, Advanced Installers automatically completes the eToken cryptographic provider and lists all key containers for each digital signature. We just have to make sure that the private key container corresponds to the certificate we chose. Choose the method you want to pass the password and build the project. Here, we are prompted to enter the private key password. There you go, we have successfully built our package. Let's check our installer to view the certificate used for signing our package. Before ending this video, there is one important thing you should know. Advanced installer's build stops automatically if the pin is entering correctly. You should be aware that the eToken gets blocked after 15 tries in a row with any bad password. And I don't think anyone wants that. If you have any questions, check the frequently asked questions about digital signature article, our user guide, tutorials and blog.